Greetings. Welcome to our fifth chapter, fifth lesson on adjectives in Greek. Um, a lot we're going to learn. We've already learned it in our nouns because adjectives in a way are related to nouns. So let's move on and see what uh, these slides have to teach us about adjectives. So uh, an adjective is a word that modifies a noun or a pronoun. And adjectives can perform three functions. One is attributive, uh, two is predicative, three is subst substantive. So attributive gives a quality or attribute to the word it is modifying. So it, uh, for example, she learned modern Greek. The word modern is modifying the noun Greek. Predicate says something, something about the uh, the noun. The students are good. Where substantive or functions is a noun, the good, the bad, the ugly, uh, or, or, or in such cases, that's the adjective function is very much like a noun. Okay, so let's look at how the adjective forms, uh, the formation of the adjective. Uh, just like we have looked at uh, the various, the three ge uh, genders of the nouns, we also have three gender in the adjectives, and the same way we have two numbers, singular and plural, and also cases, nominative, accusative, genitive, dative, nominative, accusative, genitive, dative, uh, in plural. So if you notice, you'll see that... Um, Agathos declines very much like uh, Kurios. So Agathos, Agathon, Agathu, Agatho, Agathoi, Agathus, Agathon, Agathois. Agathe in feminine, Agathen, Agathes, Agathe, Agathai, Agathas, Agathon, Agathais. We have Agathon, Agathon, Agathu, Agatho, Agatha, Agatham, Ag Agathon, Agathois. So, the feminine singular adjective endings are a stem finishing with a vowel or rho use uh, alpha, not eta. So, if you know the endings uh, for the masculine, feminine, and neuter nouns that we've already learned, this should not be a problem for you because uh, we already know curios, we already know. Um, uh, arke, we already know uh, ergon, which decline very much like these words. Uh, adjectives fun must agree with the noun they qualify in gender, in case, and number. So that's again uh, very helpful for us to know. Uh, for example, they see the beautiful land. So land has been further qualified or described by the addition of the adjective beautiful. This is the normal attributive use of the adjective. Um, because beautiful is qualifying land, it will have to agree with land in gender, case, and number. So that's very helpful for us. So once you know the noun, then the adjective follows. Or once you know the adjective, the noun also follows. So we have some examples here. They see the beautiful land. Uh, it can either be blepozin ten kalen gen or blepozin ten gen ten kalen they see the beautiful land so you can see that kalen and gen share um, uh, both gender case and number they see the new earth blepozin kainen gen blepozin gen kainen um, so that uh, you can see that kainen and gen and gen kainen are both uh, share the same case, gender, and number. Let's now look at um, Amy. Amy is I am, uh, the verb Amy, to be. So this is how it declines. Uh, Amy is I am, A, you are, Estin, he or she, it is, Esmen, uh, we are, Este, you are, Azin, they are. The first and second plural have similarities with Luo, as you can see. So, Amy, A, Estin, Esmen, Este, Azin. Now, the verb to be 
is used quite a lot. So it's one that you may want to learn because you will encounter it quite a lot. Um, it, we use the verb aimi in many various sentences in the Greek language. So, a hint. Normally, accents do not convey any useful information. However, there are two different words uh, written as a, which can be distinguished by the accents. So, a with a second flex means you are. A with no accent means if. So, that's what you need to note. For example, Matthew 4, 3, a, weos, a, to, theu, if you are the son of God. Um, so it has a second flex, so it means you are, rather than if. Let's uh, look at um, the use of adjectives, uh, predicate. Um, like we said, adjectives function predicative, in the predicative or attributive or also substantive. So, honomos estin hagios, the law is holy. So, that's predicative. Um, sentence X noun is Y adjective. So, the adjective is not an object but rather is an adjective qualifying the noun. The adjective completes the sentence, it is called a complement. This use of the adjective is called the predicative use as opposed to the attributive use. If you remove the adjective, then the sentence does not mean anything. Then you know it's predicative. And that's the way you know whether it's predicative or attributive. Word order. The word law is holy. A honomos estin hagios. Hagios estin honomos. Um, predicative adjectives are never immediately preceded by the article. Predicative adjectives are never immediately predicated, preceded by the article. Okay. Uh, omission of the verb to be. The Greeks often let the verb to be dropped out of sentences. In this case, you can, uh, you need to put it back in, uh, uh, as we say, to supply it. Honomos hagios kai he entole hagia kai dikaya kai agathe. So the law is holy, and the commandment is holy and just and good, and that's in Romans seven twelve. So the verb to be is not there, but we supply it. Okay. Some um, vocabulary, uh, standard adjectives, agathos, agapetos, and uh, agapetos declines like agathos, hagios, dikaios, um, agapetos means beloved, hagios means holy, dikaios means upright, just, uh, ekatstos, each, heteros, another, different, uh, uh, idios, once on. You remember the idios phone um, that uh, came as his first smartphone in Kenya? Uh, it is called, be called idios and it means once on. Eudaios, Jewish or Jew. Kakos, bad. Kalos, beautiful, good. Kainos, new. Makarios, blessed. Menos, only one. Uh, alone. Necros, dead. Osos, as how much, as how much or how great. Pistos, uh, faithful, believing, poneros, evil, uh, or wicked, uh, toothless, blind, megas, megale, mega, large, great, uh, polus, polo, polu, much, many, Allah, but, uh, a, if, remember, you are, um, the verb to be, um, with the second flex, it's you are, if it's a, it's if, he, or os as like uh, Galilea, Galilee, Eirene, peace, Kefale, head, Synagogue, synagogue, Kairos, time, season, Amy, I am. Uh, there are two alternatives for Jerusalem uh, either Jerusalem, Luma, or a neuter plural word with the rough breathing, or Jerusalem. A feminine singular and indeclinable word with a smooth breathing. Ionos, an yeah, adjective meaning eternal. Ionios never uses the feminine forms, it uses the masculine endings when agreeing with the feminine noun. Here, yeah, Ionos, Zoe, uh, eternal life. Okay. 
So, use of adjectives as nouns. This is the subsentive of use of adjectives. Greek has a way of making nouns from adjectives. Mm -hmm. Ho agathos, the good man. Ta agia, the holy things. He kale, the beautiful woman. Hoi nekroi, the dead ones. Makarioi, hoi katharoi, blessed are um, the pure. Blessed are the pure ones. Um, uh, blessed are the pure, or the pure ones. Matthew 5, 8. Uh, Paulus and Megas is how they decline. Paulus, Paulun, Paulu, Polo, Poloi, uh, Paulus, Polun, Polois. Pole, Polen, Poles, Pole, Polai, Polas, Polun, Polais. Polu, 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 Polo, Pola, Pola, Polun, Polois. Megas, Megal, Megalu, Megalo, Megaloi, Megalu, Megalon, Megalois. Um, then we have uh, Megale, Megalen, Megales, Megale, Megalai, Megales, um, Megalon, Megalais. And then Mega, Mega, Megalu, Megalo, Megala, Megala, Megalon, Megalois. So that's how Paulus and Megas decline. Mm -hmm. Then we have the use of adjectives as nouns. Uh, still, uh, Paulus is Polos with a shortened nominative, accusative, masculine, and neuter singular. Megas is Megalos with a shortened nominative, and accusative, masculine, and neuter singular. So we have, uh, for example, Dikai, Daimon, Daimonia, Pola, Ekbale. He throws out. Uh, the demons, A.K. Polun, Polon, Hupa, Ton, and Gale, um, Laodicia. He has much labor on behalf of Laodicia. He has worked very hard. Lege Pone Megale, he says in loud, great voice. Then we have um, word order in Greek sentences. In general, word order can be more flexible in Greek than it is in English. That's the basic meaning of this sentence is the same. Ho theos didaske tus judaios. Tus to the judaios ho theos didaske. Which means God teaches the Jews. Uh, the Jews God teaches. So in English, of course, we translate as uh, the normal translation God teaches the Jews. Sandwich constructions. In um, We can also have what we call sandwich constructions. Um, blepo to aheron to kalon. Blepo to kalon aheron. Uh, adjectives and then genitives. Blepo to aheron to kurio. Blepo to to kurio aheron. Uh, blepo to aheron entege. Yeah, and then we have blepo to entege aheron. Um, And all this has to do with emphasis. Uh, the way words are put in Greek it has to do much with emphasis. Whatever is emphasized uh, will come at a place where it needs, it will have the greatest emphasis. Uh, special uses of Amy, Estin or Azin normally mean he or she it is and they are. Uh, but if they are put first in a sentence, they mean there is or they are. So, ho to floss Estin and uh, synagogue the blind man is in the synagogue so when it's at the beginning of the word esteem it means there is a blind man in the synagogue so that's a different meaning nouns as complements the complement can be a noun instead of an adjective either the subject comes before this complement or the article is dropped from the complement so for example the sun is good is either Ho huios estin agathos or agathos estin ho huios. Good is the sun. The sun is good. So that's still okay in Greek. If the complement precedes the subject, it cannot have the definite article. So kurios estin ho huios to anthropo. The son of man is Lord. Son of man is Lord. Uh, theos then. Uh, ho logos. Uh, that's to say, um, the word was God. Uh, of course, in English we don't say 
so we don't put the definite article so that is the adjectives in Greek and again to review we say that uh, adjectives in Greek they modify a noun or a pronoun and we also say that uh, they have three functions they are either attributive predicative or substantival and attributive means that they give a quality or an attribute of the word that is mod being modified and the predicate that it says something about uh, the subject um, and substantival that they function as nouns and uh, so the other thing that we need to know of course how they decline as well as of course um, the use of Amy Amy which is a very important word in the Greek language so thank you for your time uh, wish you well uh, again do your assignments and uh, keep practicing God bless